Hi, I'm Sophie Giuliano, author of the Gorgeously Green book series, and today I am going to show you how to make a soothing acne gel. Now this gel, I love it because it is a way of treating acne or if you're just prone to pimples in a way that is so natural and so effective and so better than honestly anything you can buy in a store. It's really worth your while having a go at this one. Now the main ingredient in it is calendula or sometimes known as marigold flowers. Now these you may well grow in your backyard. They're so easy to grow, those beautiful orange flowers. So if you grow them, remember when they start drying out a little bit, clip them off, dry them and keep them because you never know when you might use them. So marigold or calendula flowers, that is the key for acne. It's a very soothing ingredient. The first thing that you're going to do is take a sort of large handful, around about 15 of these beautiful dried flowers, and you're going to put them in a glass measuring jug. And you're gonna cover them with about two cups of boiling water. So you're basically making a sort of calendula tea, if you like. Now, after leaving it to steep for around about half an hour, you're then going to put it in the blender. So I have a handy little blender here. So I'm going to just pour the whole lot into there. Now I'm going to put it in my little blender and just very, very quick, not a big deal. And as you can see, it looks like a sort of soupy mixture now. Now the next thing I'm going to do is get a sieve and I've covered my sieve with a little bit of cheesecloth here. Just pour this whole mixture through the sieve and the cheesecloth. There we are. And then we have this beautiful clear mixture. And I'm just going to take up that and just squeeze the last remnants so we get the, all the essence of the flowers in there, like so. Beautiful. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I've got a little dish here with two tablespoons of filtered water. Now I'm going to add a packet of gelatin. You can get from any store, any market. So I'm just going to add that in there and mix it around a little bit until the gelatin dissolves. There we are. And just make sure whenever you're using gelatin that you mix all the lumps out of it because it can get a little bit lumpy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the gelatin to this warm mixture. The gelatin is obviously what is making this into a gel. Oh, it smells lovely. It's a beautiful, gentle smell. Now, the last two ingredients that we're going to add are four teaspoons of vodka. This will actually preserve your gel for a good long time. It acts as a nice preservative and it's also a nice astringent for your face, drying out that acne. So we've got the soothing of the calendula, we've got the drying of the alcohol, the vodka, and then finally, we're going to add 15 drops of tea tree oil, which is the antibacterial aspect of this, of this wonderful gel. There we are, so it's about 15. And that's it, and then, the last step is I'm going to pour it into this bottle. You can use an old shampoo or conditioner bottle. I found this rather handy one here and um, it's actually used for mayonnaises and icings and things like that, but I like to use them for my skincare products. And there you have it. And the gelatin, when it cools down, will get a little bit thicker so it'll turn into a nice thick gel and then it's gentle enough that for somebody who has acne or problem skin you can use this every morning and every evening and simply after you've cleansed and toned you'll apply this beautiful gentle gel and then you'll apply your moisturizer so how easy was that soothing acne gel with ingredients from your kitchen and your yard so remember you can always do it yourself and do it gorgeously